my creatives and welcome to another video. Today we are going to create our first ephemera for our lookbook because I saw this amazing video uh, online. It's from Alex Crafty Goose. I will link her down below. Unfortunately she's not posting any new videos but the, I saw this and I knew I had to make it for my lookbook. Uh, we are going to create windowed lace tags. Now I already did some preparing because I already made a masterboard and cut that up with uh, the kit so you don't have to, I mean you see a lot of me making masterboards. I thought you wouldn't mind if I would skip this part and uh, just go straight into the tag making part. So what you need is a piece. I'm going to make one today that is three by six. You can also make a small one. I also did that so I will share that. Uh, with you later on. Um, the size doesn't really matter. The only thing that is important is that you have a circle or a die in my case. You don't have to have a die. You can also use your glue bottle and trace the, around that and cut out the circle. But I'm going to use my die. And um, that there is enough space around the perimeter uh, for our lace because we're going to create a window and we are going to well, put lace in there. Then you also need a piece of uh, scrapbooking paper or cardstock, or this is just regular craft paper, um, to back it with, because we're going to make a sandwich. And then I got distracted. Because we're going to make a sandwich <laughs> um, with the lace. So what I like to do was to take a piece of this paper and already uh, put it through my die cutting machine uh, two at the same time. So I knew where the circle would be. But if you don't do this, make sure that you take enough paper so you can move it about a little bit. So what we first of all going to do is of course make it into a tag shape. And I have my handy dandy little template for that because I want to use this one so this is just a masterboard on a book page as you know that I do so cutting that corner off turning my template and this template is just a gift card plastic thingy and I just snipped off a corner so now that is the same then I also already want to ink no I don't because I don't have to now we go for the circle part. So if you have a um, mug or cup or something, just trace that right now. And then you, um, once you cut this one out, you put it on your piece of paper, you trace it again, and then you cut it out again on the piece of paper. What I'm going to do, because I'm going to use my die, is because um, is to place it, these two papers together, how I want them. And going to stick that with a little bit of washi tape and hopefully it will not tear my paper so I think I would like I think this is somewhat the middle I guess so let's stick it over there and then I also need to stick a piece of washi to hold this paper in place. Now you see that I also take a little bit of extra just, just because to be sure that I have enough space when I put this through my die cutting machine. So I'm just cutting this off and I will run this through my die cut machine and then I will be back with you. So I run this once through my die cut machine and uh, that is perfect because then I have two circles. Oh, don't wrap my paper please. Oh yes. I keep these circles because they are great collage material and I have two because I also have a craft one. So keep these, don't throw them away. They're fun collage material. And then I also need to Take this one off. Okay, great. Now, this is it for the cutting part. So now you have this. The next thing I will do is I will ink. 
and I'm going to use ground espresso. So I did already uh, make two of these and I will tell you in a second why or when we get to that step why. Um, but they are super super cool. I really really enjoy them. So I make sure that I uh, also already ink the circle because you can't do that later on. Uh, I also ink the circle on this inside just in case. And I ink the circle on the outside, but we don't have to do the back yet because this paper is bigger, right? So I just ink the, ink the circle now, and then uh, the other inking ring will come on a later date. Now, what we will do is we will grab a piece of lace. Now I have these um, big curtains I bought, uh, super cheap at the thrift store, and I cut out a piece. And um, I also already know which piece I would like to add in my circle. You, this is really nice because you have some kind of a template. So you can move over your lace and see um, what kind of um, pattern you would like to have on the inside. Just make sure that there is enough space around for you to use. You can also, uh, this one also has a leaf. So uh, the bigger your tag, the bigger you can, of course, um, make the pattern that you will see. Oh, I thought I knew what I wanted, but now I see this. I think I would like to have this. I thought I would want uh, one of these, but now I see this plant. I really like it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut around this. So this is now. And I will make sure that I have enough about here. I have sometimes that my Tim Holtz scissors comes loose. I don't know, do other people have that too? And then when I strengthened it again, when I, you know, attach it again, then we're all good sees, but... And then it cuts great, but it, sometimes it comes loose. I don't know why that happens. So we have our piece, now let's see, perfect, just have enough so you can glue it till about the edges because uh, otherwise you might push out your window and we don't want that of course. So, cut it off too. Um, uh, also it doesn't matter if you see these because you can cut them off later on once everything is glued down, so that doesn't really matter as well. Now what we are going to do is we're going to attach this, uh, check in the front or the back, yes, attach this to this and I'm going to use uh, tacky glue. I had this fabric glue but it doesn't really want to stay on if I put it on so I, I need to get some new uh, fabric glue. I'm I want to try the one from uh, Action. So I just put some glue on your um, tag where the fabric is going to be and then what I did take a piece of paper underneath <laughs> and then I will add my lace how I want to have it I want to have it like this in the window look how cool that looks right oh no that's why you have to have a piece of paper underneath. <laughs> um, adding a little bit more glue here. Yes. And then the next thing we do is we're going to sandwich it with this paper. So carefully adding glue. Trying not to really move it. If you have something stretchy, then maybe it's nice if you can pull it out a little bit. I don't have that, so I just do this, making all dots of glue on this um, fabric. If you want to do it a different way because you prefer that, then please do your own thing. 
this worked for me, so this is how I'm doing it. Make sure to not, you know, put it in the window because then there will be glue on places where you don't want to have it. Now we're also going to glue the bottom. Glue, 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 glue. A lot of glue to make sure that everything will stick. Now we are going to take our tag and the window we prepared and we are going to line this up and this was a lot easier when I was with my face on top of this project so I need to put it up a little bit so I can see if I'm lined up so line these circles up with each other they are lined up with each other then you take your bone folder or whatever you have to burnish everything down pretty well so everything is stuck down make sure you move from outside the circle to the outside so not into the circle because then you have glue in the, in the middle and you don't want that these sides we still cut off so this is also nice um, this is also why it's nice to have a little bit of extra paper around so you don't smear glue on everything so Pushing it down. Now, the next thing, and this is why I already prepared one. I'm going to take off some of the glue, a little white. So, why I also prepared one uh, up front is because this has to dry and this is pretty wet. So it takes a quite some time to um, to dry. Now you can either already cut it or cut it later on. I will just cut it now to size. That way it will also not stick to other things. So just cutting around it. And it is very bumpy right now, but it's because it's super, super wet. And of course I use thin paper, so of course you will feel it on the back side that there is lace in between because this is quite, you know, a thing. Um, I need to cut out this piece of lace. Now, this is our windowed tag. Super cool. The thing you have to do now is to let it dry for several hours under a stack of books or something else. So uh, something heavy. Uh, because this is now very very flimsy paper because of the wetness of the glue and the fabric is moving once it is dry it is super sturdy so i'm going to put this on her book and then i will grab the piece that i already prepared here is the one that i already uh, prepared up front um, and it is super sturdy now super nice flat uh, of course if you're going to write on here this is thinner paper you will feel a little bump but I don't know, I love the look. So this is amazing. It looks super, super cool. It, it is pretty sturdy. So of course I want to decorate it a little bit, even though it is already beautiful and I have taken out a few things for that. I would like to add a Tim Holtz person and a cigar band to this. So uh, I went through my stash already up front. I thought it was nicer for this video. And I have sewn around it. If you want to do that, make absolutely sure that everything is completely dry. Because if it is not dry, you will ruin your sewing machine. If you hear any scratching, that is Link outside the craft room <laughs> wanting to get in. So I think this is going to be it. Yes. So I will stick down my... I, uh, these are not the new ones I found in the thrift store. I found some new ones in the thrift store. Uh, these are the first... I found these for the first time ever. And then I soaked them in water to let them get loose from the paper because they were stuck on there. Don't do that because then you will da damage them. The gold will come off. <laughs> I learned my lesson the hard way. So I think that is a nice place. Yes, I'm going to flip this. 
sure. Why not? Why not? Okay, great. Now, uh, she will be a little bit on top of the window, so I will put a little bit of Distress Oxide on the back of her head. So, if you see her through, she is brown and not stark white. Even though this is white lace. Um, I don't know. It feels nicer to me. So, I... Um, did I put enough on her shoulders? I guess I did. Now, make sure to not put glue on the places where she will be uh, through the window because then you will get a messy stuff there. So I need to put glue underneath, let's see, around her chest. So if I turn this around, I did ink it pretty well, I believe. Yeah, I saw this video and I thought it was such a cool idea. And do you remember that I still needed to make some tags as closures in my journal? Well, I thought these would look very cool for that. So I will put them with you inside the la book to share what my idea was with them. So I'm going to add her here. I'm loving this. Is this crooked? Well, if it is, then shame to add a little bit of glue on the side of her head. Yeah. So now she is almost done. Since this is a tag, I would like to add a eyelet and a piece of ribbon. Uh, this is from the napkin we used for the altered book cover. I will show you. He uses for this, so this is the remaining pieces of this. Um, so, use that again. Let's see, I have my crocodile eyeballing the middle. Yes. Love the crocodile. Does need a little bit of help, I see. I push it through. Yeah, good enough. Then I need a gold eyelet because um, this is also gold. I thought that look would look very cool. So I have a gold eyelet here. Going to add that in there as well. I need to let this dry a little bit because it's coming loose. But you know, for the sake of the video. Yes. Eyelet. Then we need a piece of this napkin. I will thread that through. I might need something to push it through. We will see. Come on. Yes, okay, then pull it through here. This is one of my favorite ways to add ribbon because it's a flat knot and it's secured immediately and I find that the ribbon always sticks out nice. So it's one of my favorite ways to add ribbon. Now I'm going to snip off the top because I know I can fray this fabric a little bit and I think I like that. And then this is the result of the tag. Now I also made a small one, super excited about that one. And I mean, they look great, right? Um, the other one has to dry, so I will uh, share that in the video, uh, in the photo, I guess on Instagram. But for now, this is it. I will share the end result with you. Uh, yeah, so these are great. I uh, I absolutely love them. So what my plan is, is uh, you can journal on the back if you would like uh, or do something else. But my plan for them is to put them in my lab book. And I want to have one of them here in this slot piece. So that will keep the flap down. And now they look 
just above. It's so nice. I love it. So this will keep the flap down. And then I also want this one here. And that will keep this flap down. Like so. So that is what I... Uh, I wanted to do. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you all next time. Bye.